vlog. Today I'm gonna be doing a everyday makeup routine. This is like 10 minutes. I kind of don't want to have a long intro. Just want to get right on into it. The first thing I'm gonna do is take my Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place foundation. My skin normally isn't that bad. It's just like uneven. So then I like to have just like a fresh layer of skin to start off with. I'm gonna take this foundation, but not very much of it. Just give it a good shake. And then whatever's on my finger, I just dab on my forehead, my nose, my chin, and like around my mouth area. And then when I'm done with that, I'm just gonna go in with my damp beauty blender. I think having it wet helps so much more. I don't do this like every time, but I try to because I know how much better it feels. And whenever I don't, I just kind of regret not have winning it in the first place. And then when that's all done, I'm going to take a concealer. I think this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color Sand and apply this under my eyes. I normally put a lot under my eyes because that's my biggest like problem area, I guess you would say. Like my bags are horrible and i have a few pimples i don't even know what these are like little bumps or blemishes that i decided to pick on yesterday so i'm just gonna attack my face with concealer and just blend that all in i used to use the shape tape concealer from tar and honestly i didn't think it was that good like it was really drying on my face and it said it was creaseless so that it wouldn't like crease into your eyes but it literally still did to me and i paid like 40 dollars so i think any of these drugstore concealers work really well like this one or the age rewind one if you know what that one is so once i'm all done with the face i'm gonna go in with a face powder um I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier. I think this powder works really well for like your makeup staying on and not creasing. But honestly, I feel like in some pictures my face looks a little pale, like if the flash is on. So I don't know if I love this. I really try to focus on my under eyes. Well, I don't know if this just happens to me, but my mascara always like goes under my eye, like even if it's waterproof. So if I put powder under there, it doesn't really happen to me. Once that face makeup is done, I end up looking so pale. My best friend recently has been blush. I just really think it looks so cute, really brings color back into your face. And the one I've been using is in this Tarte. Um, I think this is this is Play Volume 2 Eyes and Cheek Palette, and this has been the highlight of my makeup routine. Like, I, I freaking love this. It's got a bronzer, a blush, and a highlight, and like eyeshadows. So I really don't think there could be much more to ask. And they're all like neutrals and pinks and stuff, so I really like this. And then just go in with the blush, and then I apply that all over to my cheeks. I also really like putting this on my nose and just kind of anywhere on my face. And then I'm going to take literally any brush, like I use this and I'm, I think this is a stippling brush, but just any brush that's like small but kind of big. And then I'm gonna take the two colors that are kind of like neutrally and just apply those to my eyelid. I literally just like mix the two and go in. I feel like this also just like evens your eye and if your eye like may have concealer on it or if it's like veiny or it just looks kind of bland and doesn't have any color on it, I feel like this just adds a lot to it. And then there's still a highlight, but I'm just gonna wait till the end for that. And then onto my favorite step is eyebrows. I think eyebrows make such a difference, at least for me. Like, I think it looks kind of weird when you have like a full face of makeup on and like mascara and everything and your eyebrows are just like, super light at least in my opinion i think i look way better with like darker eyebrows or at least when they're more like shaped so what i like to use is the Anas anastasia dip brow i don't even know how to say it. anastasia anastasia dip brow pomade and then mine's in soft brown and then i get any angled brush um this one is from nyx but this was like ten dollars and i know you can get an elf one for like a dollar or two or maybe three but that one is also really well but i've broken like four of them so I mean, I don't know how well they work, but I guess you get what you pay for. So anyways, I'm gonna be using this and I'm gonna do my eyebrows. This is like the longest part of my makeup routine, but, but I normally dip it in the brush and then kind of like rub the excess on the side so that it doesn't go too dark on my face. So I start off by brushing my eyebrows in the shape that I want them. And I normally start off with the tail. So I go under first and then over and then I'll, I just keep going further into the middle. Okay, so I'm pretty much finished with that eyebrow. I'm just gonna take a Q-tip and go kind of around the edges just to take any excess makeup off because I know when you start um, brushing it with your spoolie, some of the excess can get onto the sides of your eye. Also, if you do use the pomade, it is pretty dark, so you have to be very careful not to put too much product on your brush. And if it looks too heavy on or if you're doing your eyebrows for the first time, definitely just keep going with your spoolie because it blends it out and makes it lighter. 
And then same again, I'm gonna go in with my Q-tip. And there you go, the eyebrows are done. I am obsessed with eyebrow gel. My pet peeve is having like unbrushed eyebrows. But what I do is I use hairspray. And I don't know if that's weird or not. Like it's basically just like your hair. Like if you wash it out, it will come out. So I just grab a spoolie and then spray that. And then just go through and brush my eyebrows. I think it works really well. The only thing is it can get on to your like eyes. And then if like you're in the light, you might see like some shiny things. It's like hairspray on your face. Just like wipe that off with a Q-tip. So after that's done, I'm gonna take an eyelash curler. This is just any random one from like London Drugs or Walmart, whatever. And I just curl them. I think if you don't curl your eyelashes and you use mascara, definitely curl your eyelashes. I don't understand people that like just put mascara on straight away. I think curling makes all the difference. And then sometimes I curl my eyelashes and I end up going like way too hard and my eyelashes are actually like straight up. And then it's really hard to put mascara on because it doesn't fully like curl them because they're just like so straight. So I'm just gonna wait for them to fall a little bit. The mascara that I use is the Lash Sensational Waterproof Mascara. This is my holy grail. I've actually gone through probably like eight bottles and I think it is the best mascara, but it has to be waterproof. If it's not, then like eyelashes fall down and like it's just so much better waterproof. It is kind of a hassle to take off, but like if you have good makeup remover, then it should be fine. And then I just kind of take the excess off of the wand and then I just go on from there. And then lastly, we're gonna do some highlight. I like taking a small little brush and then putting highlight on my brow bone and like my inner corner. I think that makes a really big difference. So once again, I'm just gonna take this palette from Tarte and then just get the highlight and then put it on my brow bone. And then in my inner corners. And then for the highlight on my actual face, I just use my finger and I put that on my nose and my cheekbone. And I'm just gonna blend out the highlight with a sponge. I guess you could do this with a brush too, but just so that it's not like too intense. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is my lips. And right now I'm just gonna use this. It's a little blueberry. And I'm not gonna use very much of it, but just like for the color so I don't just look super pale. And then I just got this. I think it's like a plumping lip gloss. I don't know. I got it yesterday. And I don't really like plumping stuff because it makes your lips like tangle and I don't really think it makes much of a difference but I just wanted a clear gloss so okay and the last thing we're gonna do um I don't do this every single time but you can use a matte finishing spray or I know people like dewy as well I just like hate looking super like shiny let that dry okay so we are done with the makeup look now I'll give a little showing of what I look like pretty much it for the makeup look honestly so fast literally like 10 minutes 15 if i'm having a bad eyebrow day so comment like subscribe i'll see you next time